And we're back, got it like a bad habit. Nation in the cut. What's good with y'all, man? What's good with y'all? Okay, I had a crazy idea. I was talking to a buddy of mine. Um, and I was like, man, how cool would it be if I did a solo run campaign on the hardest difficulty with one character? And he was like, it's not possible. I was like, challenge accepted. So I created a brand new game, right? I dismissed every character. I put all of their loot in here because I deserve it, right? The game is already as hard as it is, so I'm going to sell their little crappy loot, right? And I'm playing as an archer. Now, I know what you're thinking. Red, why archer as your one character? Because I think, I think I'm capable of out kiting and maneuvering everybody. Now, I could be completely fucking wrong, right? I could be totally wrong, right? It could be a complete fucking botch, first mission. Because remember, you have to fight two bandits at the top of the game. Two bandits have to be fought, a hoodlum and a poacher right? But here's what I'm thinking. I think I might actually be able to do it. Now, it may not be possible. I could be I could be a complete, like, bozo, right? And it could be wrong. But look, right off rip, I can shoot him. What's your movement? His movement is 12. Oh, my God. That was my movement? My movement is 7. What's your movement? Movement is 12. Okay, yeah, I don't, I do not think we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Let me not say nothing yet. Let me not say nothing yet. Because I'm going to just move here because I have the advantage, right? They definitely cannot reach me. Definitely cannot reach me here. So he has to go. He has to run. He can shoot me, though. I might have already kind of fucked this up. <laughs> I'm trying, Chad. I'm fucking trying. I need to kill the hoodlum first so he doesn't engage me. Um, But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fire at the hoodlum again. But this time, I'm going to run even further back, and then I'm going to use the run speed. I'm just testing, testing. This is my first attempt at testing whether or not this is a good idea. There's no way they hit me this turn, though. Hoodlum's going to run up, completely out of range. He's fast, though. That hoodlum is fast as fuck. And then can he hit me, though? He cannot. Ha, ha, ha. Got his ass. All right, so fire. Boom. Run. Right? And then I'm just gonna I'm gonna just hit the dash on his ass. Just gonna hit the fucking dash on him. And now the kite begins. And we're going to see, chat, if we can if we can maneuver through these. I know the archer can't get me because I'm running. I'm on I'm on feet. You know what I'm saying? The archer can't do anything. So I'm just going to fire at this one again. Right? And I'm literally, I'm literally about to just line aside his ass. I'm literally about to line aside his ass. Because, like, he goes 12 meters, so I might need to go, like, right here. He won't be able to hit me again this turn. I don't think so. What he can? So much for line of sight, huh, chat? Okay. He has, he has a major advantage here, but let's see what we can do. One lucky crit and we can go crazy. It's crazy that he can shoot me over this rock. Yeah, he's shooting me again. Can I win, though? Can I win is the question. That's all I want to know. Can I win? You weak motherfucker. Come here. And it's definitely, it's definitely not going to be easy. Oh, I need to crit. All the fucking marbles, baby. You have to crit. I didn't crit. It's been a long way without you, my friend. Red Nation out here dying again. Bro, I came so fucking close. I came so fucking close. Can I retreat? We ain't lose nothing. Now, Hold on. Hold on. Because we didn't lose anything, did I gain enough experience to level up? Nope. We have to rest. So we're taking our very first rest. Listen, first fight didn't go as intended. That's okay. That's okay. Because we're going to rest. We're going to gain a little experience. And we're going to figure it out, chat. We're going to figure it out. Right? There might be something that I can do. Let me see. Is it something that I can craft or... No, it's not. Okay. Wishful thinking. Um, Excuse me. I 
the old city bandit to take my I'll give you all I was able to salvage at you. I can help you. Best case scenario is that I try to outmaneuver and outrun these dudes. Um, they sprint though, and I can't sprint. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Uh, but it, we did rest a day. We did rest a day. So what I'm thinking is, now that I have a better understanding of this fight, where's the hoodlum? Hoodlum is there. I can start by shooting him. Hoodlum has to get shot first. I did it right the first time. The only thing I fucked up on is that I didn't fucking, I didn't run. I didn't run. So the archer got a free shot off and I don't need him to get that free shot. We did it right. Even with his 12 movement, you're not in range. Woo, well, let's fucking go. All right, so shoot him again. Because literally what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to trade um and because we're going to have to trade trade meaning like we're gonna have to like trade shots it's anybody's game but if i kite correctly it's my game if i kite it correctly it's mine he has to go completely around oh beautifully done beautifully done now i can't kite again which means he has to die either this turn or next turn that's fucking <laughs> oh the plan is coming together the plan is coming together um I need to go. Can I go? I can. This is this is our last stand. Does he shoot? Does he get it off? Does he get off? Yeah, he definitely gets the shot off. He doesn't get the shot off. Oh yeah, chat. Yeah, this is GG. This is GG. GG. One. And now and now we fight. And now we fight. The dance. The dance of archers. This is the dance of fucking archers. Kiba is a legend. He takes on two bandits by himself. He doesn't give a fuck. And I still have some armor. I have the advantage. Now he he is pushing me back. But it's not going to matter because I'm moving up. We're getting close and close every single time. And you're getting all of these shots. You're getting all of those. Only one of us can win, dog. And I, and I hope he drops that fucking Raider bow. If he drops that Raider bow, oh, it'll be a beautiful thing. It'll be fucking beautiful. We're going to get close. Five to eight damage. We just need six. Over with. That's how you fucking do it, chap. That's how you fucking do it. Keith telling me that I can't fucking do this shit. I'm not capable of doing this shit. He got me fucked up, chat. And just like that, just like that, that's how we hit level fucking two. All right? Listen, it's not, it's not easy. All right, it's not it's this thing this this ain't for the faint of heart, right? Hold on, let me can I can I show you in the escape menu? I can. So con to confirm, I forgot to do this earlier. Expert, expert, Iron Man region locked exploration. I didn't show it at the beginning, but I'm I'm on it, so you guys can see it on the escape menu. In case you guys don't think I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. All right, so every time this unit ends their turn next to an enemy and is not engaged, combat you gain one. Every time this unit kills, you gain one. Every time this unit ends their turn next to an ally, well we ain't gonna have allies, so. Gonna go with this one. Um, immediately, it would be fucking nice, right? To increase my dexterity again. It would be freaking nice just to have that extra damage. But we really need the movement. This is this is about kiting. This is about not getting hit. And I'm going to need movement to do that. Um, so we're just gonna do it like that. Uh, I'm going to drop these bodies. We're not going cannibal this game. No reason to. Um, so I'm just gonna go here. Uh, we won't be able to really steal items either. So there's like, you know, there's that. Um, when I think about many people don't show can't sell. We're going to sell this shit. Sell all the stuff that's kind of just heavy. They didn't drop the Wobo. They only dropped the damage dagger, which I can't use. So we're going to sell that. But look, we already made 200 crowns. Uh, made a significant chunk of money. We have some lockpicks here. Um, I have to decide on if I want to be a tinkerer or if I want to be a uh, thief. And I think the answer is going to be tinkerer. Um, the reason why is if uh, if I'm playing as a thief, yes, I can steal good items, right? But if I play as a tinkerer, actually, the game might be good for getting here. It just it's all gonna depend, chat. It's all gonna depend. There's no there's no real right or wrong answer yet. Um, I haven't done anything with tinkerer yet, so I can pick up thief at any time. 
especially if I come across like a merchant and I need to steal the items um, early game. So like, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that kind of plays out. But that's that's going to be entirely up to entirely up to kind of like chance a little bit. Um, we're going to go to run. We need to be able to sprint literally immediately. Sprint to go after people, you know, and all that good stuff. I'm just going to unlock all the professions because you never know when I may have to switch professions on this character. Um, let me see. Okay, all of these missions are considered hard. I know why it's saying it's hard too. It's saying it because of uh, I'm only one person. So we do have some money, but there's no merchants here that sell anything. Um, they have some leather here and some iron that he's selling. Like this would be a good opportunity time to start stealing some shit. Steal the leather and the iron. Yeah, you know what? We're actually gonna do that. We're going to change his profession. I think Thief might actually be the best route. Thief might actually be the best route versus the the other one. Oh, I was, I was actually that was actually a good idea. That's we're just gonna steal. We're gonna steal some shit. We're gonna steal this. Steal this. The reason why we're stealing both of those things is because those two things literally play a huge factor in me crafting some stuff at the camp. So. If I go, oh, that's right. I can't craft because I don't, I'm only one person. So this was a little bit useless. No, it wasn't it. Um, actually, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. We're just going to have to swap between. And I know it's going to waste the experience, but that won't matter. We're just going to have to swap between those two jobs. And we're going to craft a tent. We need rope. wood he doesn't i don't think he has any wood that he's selling could have been better off just staying as a thief oh he keeps he keeps the levels just not the experience so he keeps the rank oh that's perfect that's perfect we can definitely do this all right so we're gonna go back to camp and we're going to use some of these supplies do you have wood he does not. He doesn't have wood chat. Yeah. There's some food and shit that we can steal. I'll just keep these for now. There are quests and stuff that we can do. Um, but for now, we're just going to grab up what we can. Um... We have three potions. I think we're good on potions. Dude, what does this do? Uh, every time a skill deals damage, has a chance to increase the strength for three rounds. Critical hit plus 10. Oh, hell yeah. How do I? 60 to 100. I might need to save it because I need to get gear. I need gear so bad it's not even funny. And it's looking like we might need to lay low for a little while. I don't even know. Oh, we have a merchant. Hopefully he has some good stuff. Hopefully. He does not. He got some shit. He got some shit. Who's that over there? Another merchant. You got anything good? Can you help me out? Oh, I don't need no food, dog. The lumber mill. Now, the lumber mill is cool. Um, we're going to swap professions real quick. And you'll see very often that I'm going to be swapping to multiple professions. Um, where is the... Oh, there it goes. Right here. Chop wood. So, this will give me the chop wood profession. You got to just wear multiple hats because we need, we need stuff. So, we're going to do this. Wood. And hopefully, this will be enough to give us the profession. I forgot you gotta aim at the circle. <laughs> we did get some wood. 
the experience, but we don't we don't really need it. We're trying to be a thief. Yeah, so now this quest here, I don't think we can do it because she's like a slaver. Um she's that slaver girl. Um That's the key, we can keep that. I don't think we're strong enough to do this mission yet though. So take the key and we'll come back later. Well actually is there wood to steal? Yeah, we're gonna steal that wood. Yeah, we're gonna steal that wood. And as we wait for new people to kind of pull up, you're saying that we're fatigued, but we're perfectly well hidden. We're gonna go here to the camp, and then I'm going to change my profession from thief back to tinkerer. And then I'm going to craft some stuff here because we need things crafted. Okay, so um, camp chest is going to be the first thing that we need to craft because what I'm going to be doing each turn with this camp chest, we're going to put this down and we're going to launder any stolen goods that we have so we can keep our stolen equipment. That way, we're just kind of protecting our own goods. Um, and the first thing that we're going to launder is probably... Actually, I don't think we need to launder much of anything right now, but we will later. Um, we're going to go with career plans for our next point. Forgive the noise, chat. My son is just waking up. <laughs> um, next thing we're going to do is... Uh, long I think we need to launder, actually. I think I'm just going to craft. I, mean, I need to craft some lockpicks. So we'll craft about four lockpicks total. I'll craft one fish hook for the EXP. Because that's going to be important. We're going to craft the rope for the EXP as well. And then we're going to... I think... We need to craft a pitten. So we need a pitten so we can climb up and down mountains. That's going to come in handy. Um, we have more crafting material that we can use. We need more rope so we can build a tent. And then we need the rope to rope and salt to build a hitching post. Um, the salt, on the other hand, can probably wait. Uh, but there's nothing really too launder at the moment. But I guess we can just try to put some stuff in here too launder. Um, like the cloth can be laundered and so can the leather. Um, I don't know if I'm high enough level to actually launder it, but I guess we can try it. Um, actually, nah, we should just keep, uh, we'll just keep this as is. I can't assign the thief there yet. Um, let me see. Um, Artful Dodger. The companion suspicion meter drops 10% faster. We're going to need that. Um, and then we have another point. And with that other point, we're going to build the workplace or workshop thing this one right here yeah that's gonna come in handy okay and we're going to use all of our stolen food first use the yeah there we go and then we're gonna rest hopefully nobody attacks us get a decent rest we did um but we are kind of in the cut staying far away from anybody that would kind of hurt us so the next set of things that we would need to do is I need to find some better gear, which means I'm waiting for one of these merchants to come through and they, they have some stuff for us. None of these merchants so far have got have given us anything good. Like he has leather, which is cool, but it's just like, dude, I can't do anything with that. Like I need, I need like weapons, armor, gear. Um, I may actually, you know what? I got a better idea. We're going to go first. I'm going to go back to camp. Now, this may seem dumb at first, but when you see what I'm going to do, what's my... Can I get to Apprentice? I can get to Apprentice. Let's, uh... We're going to craft some stuff until we get to Apprentice. The most things that we're going to need to craft is going to be these lockpicks. All right? And then I will steal some hemp from the town, craft some more rope. Right? And then... I believe he had him. Like tweaking or was it you? It was him. I'm gonna steal the oh I can't. Okay, we're gonna buy the hemp. We only need two. Only need two, so we'll buy it. Right? And then right click here. Craft rope. This will get me to level two. And now I should be an apprentice. Right? Is that how that works? I'm an apprentice now. No, 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 no. I need, I need, okay, so I need four more, so I'll just buy all of his hemp. And then I'm going to need 10 salt, so we're just going to buy his salt too. 
and that's that's to create the hitching post so we can have more carrying capacity but uh we're going to craft all of that hemp so that that way we have the level two so that we can swap back and forth now i'm an apprentice tinkerer so at any point in time i can kind of swap back and forth without losing my exp and that's <laughs> big brain all right so then i'm going to use i'm going to go back to thief because we're gonna we're gonna get into some thievery stuff pretty soon, but I'm gonna wait for suspicion to die down a little bit. Um, we do need metal, and I don't think you have any. He does not, so we might we might need to actually go travel out. The streets are freaking hot, chat. Cops is all over the place. Bandit campaign, bandit playthrough. One man, one dream. Um, my movement is only eight. We need to get this movement up. Like, badly, guys. Like, badly. Some people have, like, 20 movement. I mean, 12 movement. And it's just like... Not 20, my 4. 12 movement. And it's, like, so much that it's like... I can't do anything about that. The wolves? I would love to try to hunt those wolves. I just... I know I won't win. I know I won't win. Matter of fact, let's try it. They're just wolves. They don't even have armor. I might actually. And I might be able to surprise them, too. Bro, if I can kill three wolves, dude. If I can kill three wolves, dude. Jesus, this would be amazing. All right, come on. Let's try it. Let's try it. All right. One bandit, three wolves. I know I know they have movement for days. Yeah, they do. 12 movement. We're dealing with apex predators here. All right, so we're going to go shoot this one. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. All right, so I already have a lot of distance covered. I know they can't get to me here, but they can get to me on the next one. So what I might do is I might... I don't think I need to run yet. Who goes for us? Or are they all going to go? 12 spaces. Matter of fact, I'm going to just do it just in case. I don't I don't know. Yeah, I'm here, Piggy. I'm recording the video right now. The craziest video I've ever done on the channel, Pig. Craziest video I've ever done on the channel. You ain't going to believe what I'm doing. Expert difficulty, right? Expert difficulty, so the hardest difficulty, Iron Man mode, only one character. Keith says it's not possible, but I'm doing it. Keith said it wasn't possible, but I'm doing it, dog. There's no way he makes it to me, right? Oh, we're good. That's one wolf down, for sure, for sure. We're going to kite the fuck out of these dudes. Come on. So that's one wolf. Now, mind you, as soon as we, as soon as one engages me, I'm completely done here. Um, and this is a dead end, which means we have to kite completely around. So this is about to get a little, it's about to get a little iffy. I ain't gonna hold you, chat. It's about to get a little iffy. All right, so I'm gonna go here, run down, and let's see what happens. Can he reach me? If, oh, he can't reach me. The answer's no, chat. The answer's no. He cannot reach me. Let's go. Erica, can you please, love? Just put him in his room. I'm in the middle of a game. And I don't think they reach me if I go here. I think I actually finessed the kite. Do I? Please tell me. Please tell me that answer's yes. I just don't want him to hit me. Oh, that was so close. It was so close, chat. He almost engaged me. I need to kill. You need to kill. You do not kill. You mother. Okay. Okay, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. We still we still have a run. We still have a run. That five feet movement, man. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Now here's the question. Can can I win the fight? Is is the question. We're gonna kill this wolf. He should have died last turn. If we're really being honest. But every time I kill him, I do gain a free run action. So we're going to use that. Put the steppers on him. Add some steppers. And then wait for him to come close. We just we just kited three fucking wolves, chat. Three wolves were kited into their fucking demise. I'm, I'm moving too fast. Um, he's out of range. Uh, uh, the movement. That's 12 damage. Oh, 12 damage. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, they're going to use that extra feet of movement. 
Okay, and then we kill the wolf. Yeah, that's crazy, chap. That is absolutely insane. One v three, the wolves completely obliterated them with just the skill off the back of the archer. That's how OP archers are. Archers are really out here different in these streets. I ain't gonna hold you, chat. The archer is different. He's proven time and time again that he is Himothy, that he comes from a long line of warriors, and that he is not here to play no games. I think this is a good little ending point for today's video because it is about 25 minutes long. But if you guys think this video has been impressive so far and you guys want to see more, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and smash that notification bell. I'm going to get my morning started and take care of my son because he's awake. Um, but this has been your boy, Red Nation, man. Stay up, stay blessed, stay fucking toxic.